<laughs> that. <laughs> and Rick, Rick B word. B -word. <laughs> Your brilliant podcast, The Wittering White Horse, which yes. is is so funny. Thank you. That's it really, very really kind is. of you. We love doing it. And you can actually, tell. We, um, I think Michael thought all the emails that came in were fakes and written by the producer. And I said, <laughs> no, they are real people. Really? I had two problems with that uh -huh. podcast. <laughs> or still do. <laughs> well, no, I don't. I don't have one of them now. Okay. The one that I haven't got anymore is I had absolutely no idea what a podcast was. <laughs> still absolutely don't. Yeah. <laughs> My mum no, still don't. Yeah. 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 What it was. Yeah. So I now know about that. Uh, and the other thing that I've discovered is that I thought the producer, who's an extremely nice young man, very nice man. Joe. Chuck called Who Joe. Yeah. Very, very good. I thought he was writing these questions mm -hmm. to just keep the show going and, and making it all up. <laughs> I didn't realise that people were actually hundreds, listening hundreds and writing it. <laughs> yeah. So I said once when I was doing an answer, I said, actually, Joe, can we, we just not do that yeah. one? That's so silly. ludicrous. Been... I mean, how could you have made such a <laughs> total... <laughs> That. I'm Rick. Oh, B word. I hope there's a beep available. Sorry for the swear. Oh, Apologies for the swearing there on Virgin Radio. Sorry, I didn't realise yeah, how no. you told me not to swear. I didn't yeah, realise no, that swearing. was a swear. Yeah, it, it is. is I beg your pardon. It's not I, medical, it's swear. I will yeah. not ever say that word yeah. again. He was using it in the medical term. Yeah, he used to be a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I then discovered that <laughs> actually people were... Ringing in with or real writing life. in with yeah. real life problems. Mm. I feel and like we may get some people writing in this better, better. Much yeah, better. They're real. Yeah. But do you have like ludicrous ones where you're like, that's not real? Where you're like, I well, can't we do. Dealing with we that. do. We do. We had one the other day which was from somebody called Alex who's married to someone called Alex. Mm. And they said, We're having a baby. Shall we call the baby Alex? I mean, I'd say yes. Well, I said yes. And then I thought about it and thought, Well, that's great for first baby. But then when you have another oh. baby, do you call that one Alex? Yeah. So. <laughs> Quite weird. <laughs> Quite yeah. weird. A little bit weird. A little we bit also, weird. somebody once asked us too, what was the most horrible thing that you've ever put in your mouth? Which I thought oh. was a little bit personal. Mm. Yeah. Michael's answer was a wasabi nut. So oh. we were fine. We were fine. Good. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. breakfast friendly. Yeah. No, well, I'm not a fan of the Jack wasabi Jack gave me a nut on mm. when we were filming Travels with My Father. Mm. And he gave it to me. And when he was driving. He, he was, <laughs> and he put it in my mouth and said, Daddy, would you like a nut? And I said, yes, that Michael would be doesn't nice. do spicy. Sort of casual. <laughs> and it was, and I spat it out. And I nearly, I was no, driving. You, you, you actually hit ten wing mirrors. Yes, it was the most I expensive did. day for Netflix I, ever. I was driving this huge car and I knocked in, all the wind we were in mirror, mirrors off. <laughs> we were in Hungary. Ten wing mirrors. And then we had to stop and then get the detail. <laughs> of all the owners of the car. All because of a wasabi nut. All for a wasabi nut. Yes. Wasabi yeah. nut. I mean, yeah. if you didn't know you were having a wasabi nut, if you did think it was cashew, yeah. I might yes. career off the road yeah, too. Yeah. 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 Got to warm the mouth. Exactly. For yeah, something it was a like bad, that. Yeah. bad moment. Yeah. yeah. Very bad. Yeah. Uh, you can tell you guys really like working together. I feel like you, you find each other very funny, He's, which oh. I like. And Hillary, you lose it sometimes. I, I mean, what I love is that he goes off topic all the time and yes. I can really lose it. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. I mean, it, my problem is being the age I am. My um, anecdotes are all very old anecdotes about a very long old time ago. Old but good. Yes. So Hillary keeps it sort of topical, even though I still <laughs> go off. I mean, I told a very long story uh, not very long ago on the thing called on the thing I call it the uh, Wittering White Horse. The Wittering White Horse. Yeah, the podcast. The, the thing. Oh, the yeah, thing. The that, thing about David Bowie, oh, who yeah. I spent yeah. some time with in Berlin. Hello. Oh, oh my oh, God. Hello. So I started telling Night this on the David wasabi nuts. Bowie story, and then I thought, and what am I talking about? Why am I talking to these people <laughs> if they really are there? Um, <laughs> They Why are. am I t talking to these people about meeting David Bowie in a nightclub in Berlin, Berlin with David Hemming? In the 70s. In the oh, 70s, wow. because the question was something like... Oh, I, what was the question? I, I, it was about... I, I think it was about travel, but suddenly we were talking about talking David Bowie in, the in, Berlin, 70s in Berlin. Because why not? I mean, that's yeah. a story I need to hear. Podcast. Maybe on your podcast. Yeah, maybe on the thing. Hello. Hello, you've got to come around. We could have a, we could have a Bratwurst oh, and talk yeah. about David Bowie talk about in David Berlin. Bowie. That sounds like a dream after. Yeah. He you. was yes. very sweet, a very nice yeah. man, and I had no idea who he was, <laughs> but he was extremely nice. 